Fare thee well, old man. I got a cutscene, yay. Luck mirror the time was vanishes, leaving behind a scroll, a glowing orb, and the words far thee well. Congratulations, you have earned the wizard's friend achievements. Alright. Item. What's the scroll about? Is that a spell? Did you give me a spell? Give me a spell, give me a spell, give me a spell, give me a spell, give me a spell. Look at this thing. Oh, it's not a spell. You read the words on the scroll out. Five to find three are one. One gives access to the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining the two, the golden thorn. The last to invoke the platinum horn. Thank you for that riddle, old man. You could have just told me what to do. Without your puzzles. All right, a clear orb has a silver sheen about it. Um, it is relatively light and vibrates with dormant expanded power. I have a feeling I have to use this on one of the elementals. Let's go uh, find one and use it on one. Oh, what is that? What is that? What's happening? What is that? Uh, what is that? Some sort of a magical barrier. That wasn't here before. Can I use an orb on it? Ow! As you approach the magical barrier, a stream of power arcs towards you, causing your hair to stand on end. Okay. Alright, so this is one of the first elementals. Let's try to use the orb on it. Oh! Look at that! Slowly remove the silver orb and hold it out in front of you. A power from within the artifact immediately pulls the entire the entity inside. Beads of water form on the surface of the orb. Excellent. This gives me a water orb, I guess? Should I use it on the other one? Or can I only have one at a time, I wonder. Maybe, I think I know what to do now. Maybe I can use that water elemental to extinguish the fire inside the, the fire thingamajig. Oh yeah, arrow guys here again. Let's try it, let's try it. I think I think this is my work actually. The Brazier might need some fire. I mean might need some water. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Let's break it. Where's my hammer of wisdom? Yeah, that's right. Take everything. Take it, take it all, take it all. You never know when we need a brazier. All right, uh, where's that ice guy? Is he here? No, that wasn't the ice guy. Where's the ice guy? There you are. All right, so I'm gonna use the orb on you because I think I need a nice spell as well. Uh, what do I use it on? Jeez, seems like I've used it on everything already. Okay, let's try this room. Uh, use the ice thing or J on the skeleton. I think. Use ice thing on the water. Oh, finally! Haha! You release the ice elemental, you fumble with the silver orb, dropping it into the lake. Immediately, the still water freezes into a solid sheet of ice. Excellent work! Wait, I dropped the orb? No! No! Give it to me! Give me my orb! No. Okay, let's just go check out this guy. Uh, can I break him with the hammer? No, other way. Uh, oh, ooh, look at that. You make your way across the slippery ice toward the chain skeleton. Skeletal remains of some unfortunate soul are chained securely to this rock. There's some words here. What are these words? You cannot read the inscription. It warns others to stay away. Okay, give me a skull. Uh, take. Blindfold untied. Take the key. And what else can I take? Can I open this? Can I break it? Use hammer. On the shackle. Nope. All right, I guess there's nothing else here, so looks like I'm just gonna leave him. He gave me a key. That's good enough. Uh, 
Can I use a torch on this thing? I need it. I want it back. Absolutely. This game makes sense. All right, take it. Take the orb. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's go find out what the key's for. Oh, there we go. My torch is almost out, but I just figured out what I need to do. I had to go back to the mirror room. And let's just get another torch. And I had to break this to open this, uh, to, to discover the door. Aha, uh -huh. and that's what the key is for, probably. Let's try it. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Open it. As you open the door, a wave of heat slams into you, making your eyes water. That's not good. Oh, fire. Yay. A wave of heat washes over you as you move into the next room. Intense heat truly from the unearthly fire before you fills the large room. Hot. Very hot. Uh, okay. Alright, the water melted, eh? Yeah. Maybe I can cover myself in water? Of course I can. That makes sense. Now I can probably go into the fire furnace. Alright, so apparently the Wraith decided to return as well. And that's not good. That's gonna waste the torch for me, I think. Okay, Wraith, go away. It was only hard the first time. Now it's not hard anymore. And I just made my cloak wet, so I think I should be able to go through the thingy. The fire thingy. I believe it's called a furnace. Oh, that's not here. It's not in here. Wrong way. Sorry. I have to go upstairs. Let's see if this works. Otherwise, I just made my cloak wet for no reason. A wave of heat washes over you. Blah, blah. Intense heat truly from. <laughs> oh, it works. All right, cool. Go in. Oh boy. What? As you head for the far door, a bright point of white light materializes above the bridge, pulling a cauldron of heat behind it. In a swirl of fire, the singularity explodes and fashions itself into a creature out of your worst nightmares. The beast hisses at you, blocking your way. Hit the beast with the magic thingy magic. This one. Has fire, it has water elemental in it. Intense fire from the drake overpowers the lesser magical elemental. The spirit disappears with a whimper. Ah, come on. And the clock is nowhere wet. Fine. How does that go? Out of the dragon's den and into the furnace. What? I'm just gonna use the ice elemental on him. Oh, I made a mistake again. So I do need the water elemental. So I just came back with the water elemental. I think I need to use it on not the dragon. I'm gonna try to use it on fire. Oh, there we go. There we go. Once released uh, from the silver orb, the water elemental immediately launches itself from the f fro into the fire pit before disappearing. The flames lower to tolerable level. Okay, that's good. Now I can open the door. The door is sticks a little, but when you put your shoulders to it, it finally opens. Okay, new room has something here, some kind of a puzzle. Veins of light-colored rock are pressed into the darker granite of the cave walls. Okay, so I'm definitely missing something here. I think there's a gear missing. I, know, I think I know where the gear... I might get an extra gear. There was that other lever that I don't really need anymore, so I'm gonna go back again and get the gear and bring it here. And I think this is where the gear is, so let's find out if I'm right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have to prop one these open. I think I have a bar to do that. Let's use the bar thingy. Maybe it's this one? Nope. Maybe it is... This one? Nope. There we go, it's that one. Ah, uh -huh. I got it. Back we go. So, use the gear on the thingy. Ta da! Ha ha! You let out a sign of relief as the gear slips into the place with a click. Excellent! Now what? Alright, so I've tried to use everything. I haven't used the spells yet, so let's see if the spells work. Not this spell, obviously. Oh yeah, it's the third spell, Entrails. 
You let out a long breath, gather your will, and chant the spell. Debris falls from the rocks above as the iron grate responds, lifting with a shudder and a squeal and opening the way forward. Should I take the gear? I'm gonna take the gear back. I think I may use it again. Okay, what is that thing? Okay, this guy gave me some kind of a scroll. Let's read it. Read the scroll. Open. You read the elegant writing of the scroll. Brother Delden, please see to it that the circle chamber is prepared for the ritual. The circle of Dais was in need of some repair the last time we performed the initiate spell on it. We have a young candidate ready for initiation. Once the rite is performed, on the platform, please bestow on him all authority and privilege commensurate with an acolyte of the order. It is signed with an archaic letter L. Okay. And what is that? Alright, I'm just gonna go forward. Oh, cool. New room. Vast, this vast chamber is dominated by an intricately carved circle, wreathed by 12 stone thrones. Oh, that's where the 12 mages were. That's what the cutscene was about. There's a scroll right here. I'm gonna pick it up. Or just read it here. Much of the scroll is faded, one part still stands out. And in the end, the evil shall be thrice defeated and thrice returned. The first shall rise, a word to bar the gates from opening. The second shall rise, one of the carefree to travel the path of luck. The last shall raise uh, a raven to remake what was undone. The sweater is signed Gabriel and included a glyph which shows four vertical lines of varying heights. Okay, interesting. Alright, seems like there's nothing else here. I'm just gonna open this door and go through it. Okay, interesting. Another area. Not unlike the image in your dreams, the entrance to the inner keep of Castle Shadowgate stands before you, set with a heavy wooden drawbridge. So I need to somehow open the bridge, I guess. Same hell. There's a well here. Uh, okay, let's figure this out. Okay, I don't think anything works here. I'm gonna try to go down the well. You pinch your nose in disgust. The stench of decay rising from this old stone well is nauseating. A rope hangs from the wooden crossbar. Use the rope! Use well on self. Nope. Oh, go well. Okay, that works. Uh, you grab hold of the rope and carefully lower yourself down into the well. The ancient well is choked with roots and various detritus and debris that has accumulated over the years. What is that? This skull looks like it might have come from some large rodent. You've never seen a red with a set of horns before. Have you? Not? Oh, oh is it? What is that? A section of thick metal are sewn onto rough leather glove. Ooh, it's a gauntlet! Use gauntlet on self. You squeeze your hand into the metal gauntlet. Well, 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 what what are we doing in the well? Yorick asks with a chuckle. Very funny, Yorick. Very funny. I'm gonna take the bucket. Can always use a bucket. Alright, let's go back up. We got some something. We got a gauntlet. Maybe I could use the hook on something. Uh hook on the rope. Nope. Oh, that's a well. Oops. Wrong, wrong item. Hook on... This. Nope. Oh, I can take the rule. Ah. Ah. After all these years, the castle still looks impressive, Yorick says, in admiration. Okay, I'm gonna make a... A hooky rope. I believe the proper term is. Wait. Where is the rope? I thought I took it. Oh, okay, it's here. You take the rope and securely tie it around the iron stand. You have created a gra grappling hook. Also known as grappling hook. Also known as throw the hook. Not this way, though. Uh, okay, where am I throwing it? Here. Ninja! And there's also gears here, so I think maybe I can use a spell to activate these. Displaying an expertise you did not know you possessed, you swing the grappling hook about your head a few times and let it fly. 
the hook catches in the window slit of the castle wall. Yeah, excellent. Into the window. As you attempt to reach the dangling rope, you lose your balance and fall headfirst into the muddy water. You struggle and only makes things worse as fetid fluid fills your lungs, putting an end to not only your quest but your life. No, why did I die? No. Okay, let's try this again. Tis a sad thing that your adventures have ended here.